You must do your music. If you're playing this, um, if you're looking for a Michael Jackson track, you must know where it is in your case. You know. know exactly. So do you mix up CDs when you go out to, to play in the club? Yeah. I'm you know, the the now, um, I started off with, uh, I used to play with cassettes a long time ago, but at that time, obviously, I wasn't mixing until I taught myself how to mix. I can be deep, I can be commercial as well, and I can be soulful. It depends on the crowd that I'm playing for. As a young crowd, you always play? As a DJ, Kemi, yes. As a DJ, Kemi, it's very important to please for you to read the crowd. Some people will love you for being skillful, some people will love you for the kind of music you play, some people will love you for how you play, you know, because your sequence is also important, you know, if this track is playing, whichever track you're going to mix it with, you know, it must almost be on the same level as this one, you understand? You can't make a you can't play good beat and, to the boring beat. Yeah, the next thing you play this track and then you play a track that is somewhere there and then you come down again, you know, you see people moving out of you know the dance floor yeah. you know slowly yeah. you have 20 yeah. people now we have 15 yeah. you know yeah. do you understand so you don't don't you think the usb is more convenient when the song is on the... For, it's, 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 it's more convenient in a way that it's got much better sound quality number one and uh, it's convenient for you to carry away but for me as a, as a veteran dj i i i, I still as say as a legend i still feel it's, it's, it's taking away, yeah, you know, that DJ thing. Yeah, you know, like, imagine you rocking at a club like this, my man. No, it's the way. Do you understand? You've got, you've got, you've got um, two USBs here in your pocket, my man. It's like, you're looking like, you're not different from a person who's just coming to the club to have fun. Do you have a case to show that I'm the DJ? Do, do you understand? I see you the DJ. Imagine if you were to play soccer with no soccer kit. Naked. No, not naked! Okay. <laughs> no problem. Your relationship, I mean the players as a whole with uh, Vivi. Yeah, it's good. She wants the best the best out of the players. And he knows what, what the players are, what we as players are capable of. So, mm. In a way it helps a lot. Sometimes it's really, really strict. Mm. It? So strict that if you miss a chance, you got it. In training you gotta do 50 push ups or something like that. Yeah, that's a good thing. So, it must stay. It must start. So you gotta show your seriousness when you're on the field, when you're training. Everything's gotta be serious at training because how you train is how you're going to play. And if you joke around on, the, on training, you're gonna joke around in the game. So that's why, to a certain extent, strictness is needed. See, if I want the ball in the space, I come. I may like I want it free, and then the defender comes with me. Then I run in the, in the defender's back because then I can't be offside. You know what I mean? So I come short and then I go. So in the beginning when I did it, Tabo always played the ball short and it looked like I was running away from the ball. So when I come short, I told him, I do the opposite of what I want. If I want the ball in my, at my feet, I first go like I want it in the space, then I come. Because then I create two or three seconds for myself to have to turn and run it or do whatever with the ball. And if I want the ball in the space, I come short to prevent the offside trap. Because if I just run in the space, he just take one step forward, mm -hmm. then I'm offside. So if I run forward, he think I want it in my feet, so he comes. He, break, he comes, if this is the defense, if, he, if I come short, he comes, he comes with me, then the line of defense stays and I'm here. I come short, he comes with me, and then I run his back. Mm -hmm. I cannot be offside because the line stayed there, they mm. didn't move with oh, him. Okay. So then I'm onside, you know? So when they got the hang of that, that's when they could realize. Hey. And the coach also came with that, when he since he joined Pirates, he's been explaining that also in training also. So the guys realized, even Tawa said to me now last week, Oh, that's what the coach means. What you said even before he came. I said, yeah. I've been telling you the whole time. You only realize it now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem.